I first started DJing, I did things off the cuff. I mean, that's the way you're supposed to, right? I started in radio and before I even went to radio school, that's how you saw them do it. You know, they turned on the mic and they said a couple things off the cuff. Uh, they knew what the weather was, really. You just looked out the window and then you got a, a piece of copy that told you what it was. But you made things up as you went. And when I DJed parties, I did the same sort of thing. Um, and it wasn't until later on when I started to consider that maybe I should work on scripting a bit of what I do. Hi again, it's Bill Herman with uh, Creative License. Thank you again for being a part of the show. Um, what I'm trying to get to is a lot of guys don't script what they do because they don't know how they might. Uh, I'm not a writer. Um, I've never written anything in my life. You know, I'm better off the cuff. You know, it's like the Sundance thing. Uh, uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, when uh, the Sundance Kid said, hey man, I'm better when I move. <laughs> he can't shoot anything, but he's better when he moves. Well, I used to think the same thing when it came to uh, DJing. You know, I'm better when I'm off the cuff. Uh, just the first thing out of my mouth works. Um, the problem with that is after a while, you hear the things that work well, and then that's what comes out of your mouth first. So you don't necessarily uh, uh, give it much thought, and then all of a sudden these things become crutch phrases, and they come out of your face uh, out of your face really fast because you don't really think about what you're doing. The, the the process of writing is not an easy one um, if you take it on that way. I mean, writing is just writing. If you want to talk to a person who teaches writing, they talk about English and grammar and structure and all of those things. And as much as those things are important, if you ever wanted to be able to script out anything or write down anything, the first thing you need to start doing is writing. I mean, really. Do you keep a journal? If so, why not? Uh, you should be writing every single solitary day. Uh, you should take all of your, I don't know if you should, but I think if you're looking to get better at what you do, you should take all the things you do at a wedding and start maybe writing them down. Write out a script. Write out the idea of how it might start, how you might explain it, how you're going to do what you're going to do, what you're going to say, how you're going to talk about things. I mean, really, write it down. You want to go to the show later and come off the cuff, that's one thing, and I'm okay. You're not hurting me, and you're certainly probably not hurting your clients. But if you want to start looking at what you're doing, you need to start looking at it under a microscope. And a really good way to do that is to begin to write out what you're going to say. And really looking at it through that microscope. How could I say it better? How could I do it differently? Uh, how could I be smoother? Um, can I use the English language in a better way? This exercise itself begins to help you to uh, be a better communicator, to be able to stand in front of a crowd of people or in front of a camera and speak about something with any kind of eloquence at all without struggling for your words or worrying about whether or not you're going to say the right thing. It'll help you with the kind of confidence you need to. You want to become a better writer? Take a writing class. But first, write, because every writer in the world will say, you got to write. A writer writes every single day. A writer writes every single day. Well, this is good for artists, period. You want to perform and be a better performer? A performer performs every single day. A writer writes every single day. A voice artist uses his voice every single day. A singer uses his voice every single day. A, ride, a, a runner runs every day. Uh, a, a guy who lifts weights, lifts weights every single day. So why is it that we think we can show up on a regular basis to an event, regardless of whether it's a wedding or a prom or a birthday party or anything, and think, I'm going to show up, I'm going to plug in, and I'm going to find out who is here today. And what I wonder what I'll try today. I wonder what I'll figure out today. I know a lot of you figure out your music lists oftentimes before you get there, but you also want to get this. Be able to do that will help you to be more off the cuff when you get there, right? So you'll also be more off the cuff if you are well scripted and well thought through of every single time you open your mouth. Because trust me, when you open your mouth and turn that microphone on, that is the time that they are looking at you with the most scrutiny. So you want to be sure that what comes out of your mouth is not the same thing they're expecting to come out of your mouth. Think about it. 
Do you use script? Uh, what do you think of the idea of scripting? What do you think of this exercise? If you want to uh, tell me, I'd like to know more. Write it down in the comments below. Uh, go to the Facebook page with his creative license, uh, of course. Um, let's see, uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, BillHerman.com is my website. I'm really easy to find. So reach out, tell me what you think, and, uh, and do me a favor and subscribe to the show and share it to everybody you know. I'm Bill Herman with Creative License, and I'll see you next time.